<laughs> Hello everybody, it's Josh Thomas from the BitBlock here. Welcome to my first impressions of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door for the Nintendo. I like the- oh, I like seeing the copyright 2004. What a time to be alive! 2004! So we gotta just get into this. Um, th by the way, this, this title music is a friggin' banger. Uh, alright. Here we go! I can't believe I'm playing- I can't believe I'm playing this game! How, how does this exist? This is- Oh, here we are, yes. Of course, I've seen this many, 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 many times. I've rewatched the trailers for this game, uh, more than any human probably should have. Um, this is gonna be a long first impression video. First impressions video. I'm not gonna skip this, because I, I want to see it in clear quality on my TV. And it was said that the town was very prosperous. Oh, look at that little cheap cheap. But one day, tragedy befell this bless- Hey, I can't read fast, as many of you know. Look at this. I love the little pop-up book. This is a really nice, uh, you know, nice way to handle the little intro, because in the original game it was just a, a simple few pictures on a page. So this is very cute. Ah, uh, there goes the town. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. Oh. In the original game, those clouds have eyes on them. They have faces. And I gotta say, I wish they had faces in this. <laughs> there we've got the early humble days of Rogueport. A few little battleships going by. That magnificent treasure rested there. Look at that magnificent treasure! We love a good magnificent treasure! This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Ah, uh, you know it's a Mario game when there's a noose in the center of the town. Oh my gosh, we're doing this. We're really doing this. They remade the Thousand Year Door. Oh, that lined up really well. Oh, look at it! Wow. Very clean. There's Princess Peach. Finally, I have a minute without Toadsworth. Oh, we love Toadsworth, too! Woohoo! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Woohoo! Toadsworth is so... We need to bring Toadsworth back. He's wonderful. Once in a while, I'd like a chance to look around on my own and see what I want. Look at her. Look at Princess Peach. Yeah. Oh. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town is a very, um, distinct fl It's a dump, Princess Peach! It's a dump! Call it what it is, it's a dump! Ooh, look at this mysterious... being. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads, but this is a special favorite. Ooh, knickknacks and doodads? Oh, my favorite! Look at that one. Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside of it? This box holds a map that shows where to find treasure. But the box has a magic lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. Yeah, I'm not opening that box. Princess Peach probably can, though. Oh. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. <laughs> Go on, hold it. I bet it's going to open for her. Because she's Princess Peach, and also I've been playing this game for 20 years. Oh, There's a lot of new- I've said this in videos before. There's a lot of new animation on the characters, and I love it. Oh, look at this shot! Woo! Oh, I love it. I love it. Look at this! Uh, Mail call! Oh my god, it looks great! It looks great! Oh, look at that, it's Luigi! Oh, let's see here! Oh, it's a letter from Princess Peach! Oh, their house. I've seen this in video. I love the noise the characters make, too. I love that. It's so good. I can understand some people are annoyed with it. I'm not. I'm way too playful and, and joyous with this, like, wackiness to be annoyed by that. I love it. Ooh, Princess Peach, Princess Peach has lovely handwriting. <laughs> what does that say? It might say chow. That first word looks like it could say chow. I'm just imagining things. 
Oh, there it is. I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with uh, you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come, Princess Peach. Hmm. Oh, uh, what do you know? It's a true. Uh, there's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. Oh, let's check it out, Luigi. Hmm, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a map. Yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Look at that. Look at this beautiful map. Oh. Woo! <laughs> oh, I want the original game remade next. I know I'm getting greedy. We haven't even started this yet. And I'm already like, can we please have the, the original game done like this too? But you know what? I'm going to be greedy. There. Oh! Oh, nice. The music. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Prologue! Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. A little bit of extra juice there. A little bit of... Ooh, I like that. Okay, here we go. I'm a little overstimulated. I mean, it's 11.50 at night, but I'm, you know... Very... Ooh. <laughs> I like this guy's voice too. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, it's Rogueport, or that's Rogueport. Oh. 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 Yeah, that's a Rogueport. I know that smell anywhere. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Oh, please, intelligent systems, make a new game that's just like this. Aha. Oh my god. I wish I could show this to myself back in 2004. I don't know what I would think. I must apologize. Arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I, I, I did tell you all the sorbid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? Yeah, but I'm Mario. I know what I'm doing. What's that? I'm sorry? You say there's a princess waiting for you here? Is that so? Uh, oh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Whoop! Yum! Well, I remember when I saw that for the first time in, like, a trailer in 2004. I was, like, blown away. Like, whoa! It was a 3D object, and then it was flat, and it flipped around? That's so cool! Okay. My first moments of playing the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door Remake. Guys, I gotta say... If you didn't tell me this wasn't running at 60 frames a second, I would not have noticed. I mean, I would notice, but like, I, it's not distracting. This doesn't feel like it's running clunky. Oh, come off it! I know you're a nosy book nerd, so don't play dumb with me! <laughs> I don't know why I would give him that, no that voice. I'm not gonna read a lot of this because it's just probably annoying when people are reading in, uh, like, video on YouTube. But I will read it when I play through the game, you know, myself, off of the video. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. Okay. Oh, Goombell is in trouble. Well, before we do that, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna save. Yes, thank you for telling me how a save block works. I, I mean, did we really need seven boxes to tell me what saving is? What do you have to say? Hey, looks like another dust-up among rogues. Bloke, blokes in this town have fuses too short by half. In times of violence like these, you gotta give that save block a whack to save your progress. I don't think I've ever read this dialogue because I've never bothered to talk to them instead of going over to... Go, look at her talking to him. Look at her. Okay, let's go save her. Like I'd go anywhere with a smelly loser like you. Wait, like I'd go anywhere with smelly losers like you. Oh, she's dragging all three of them. I love, why can't some of these characters be in like Mario Kart? Put Lord Crump in Mario Baseball for the Switch, please. Oh, it's always something. Looks like I'm going to have to give you a little taste of the old Crump-a-bomb. Oh, that sounds delicious. 
Ding, 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 ding. There it is! My first battle. Battle time, Mr. Man. That's my name, Mr. Man. That's why the M is on my hat. It stands for Mr. Man. Just find the way to beat... Yeah, I know how to do this. We don't need to... So I, I do want to, like, really read everything in the game. Just to savor it all. But, uh... Take that. But for this, again, we're not going to read everything. Because I, I, I don't even know if I'm going to get to the first... No, you don't! If I'm going to get to the first chapter. Let's give him the old hammer. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, style! I love doing those style moves. They feel so good in this game. You know, the little whoop. No! You know, you do the little style. Oh, I gotta, we gotta do that. Does she not battle with me? No, we don't learn that yet. Whoa! Oh, yeah! Hoo-hoo! Yeah, take that, Mr. Man. Star points, give them to me, baby. Wow, it's almost like this is an RPG, and battling makes sense, and it's something you have to do. What a crazy concept. Wah, 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 wah. The star points you get will show up there. I know how star points work. Goombella, don't you recognize me? You've known me since the year 2004. This game looks very nice, by the way. I was, like, fully ready to be disappointed by the frame rate. It's it's not... Well, wait a minute. Now we might see it. Now we're getting a, a hundred enemies on screen at once. We might see... I'm not seeing it yet. Uh, I don't know. That might have slowed down. I can't really tell because there's just so much going on that it just looks like it's a mess of <laughs> nonsense. Quick, this way. Okay. No, I don't know. That didn't... That, if that had slowed down, it wasn't, like obnoxiously obvious or something. It just looked like a bunch of... Yeah, no. It's running fine. It's 30 frames, but, you know. Like I was saying, I if nobody was making a stink on the internet, I probably... It would have taken me a while to notice it's not running at 60. Like, that wouldn't be what's on my mind. It's running pretty good. Oh, I love the little extra noises. The little extra sound effects are great. Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, what, uh, did you see them? Did anyone? <laughs> oh, those, uh, the character models are very clean as well. In the GameCube game, when they'd have like a, a hundred characters like this, you'd be able to tell they're not as clean as the main character models, but those do look clean. Oh. Wow, mister, you totally saved me, thanks. I have just, I have got, I have, I have just got to give you a little reward. Oh, a little smoochie. <laughs> I love, the, oh my god, the Piantas. Look at them back there, ready to beat somebody up. Look at them. Yep, I'm the famous guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that, look at that gang violence in the background. I love, the, I love the Mafia. I love the Mafia. Oh, look at this, this little thing, this little going on in the backgrounds there. <laughs> Mario games need more gang violence and mafia beatings. That's what they've been missing recently. Princess Peach, what? Great hoogly boogly if it isn't Master Mario. Oh, it's Toadsworth, look at him. Oh, look at that, that's a new little animation. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed that I noticed these things, but I'm also not. I've kind of been studying Paper Mario for many, many years here. A uh, bit of a coincidence, bumping into you, bumping into one another in this sort of place. Mm -ho -ho -ho. So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? Well, Princess Peach, oh, she sent me a map, and she told me, oh, you better come and get here. And so I'm like, oh, okay, I got to do what Princess Peach says. So I came to Rogueport. Hmm, ah, indeed, yes, Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport, huh? Mm, interesting. Oh, look at that little move. <laughs> we stopped in the sound acquire a spot of fuel. A spot of fuel. Yep. Uh, the music is weird. I'm gonna do a separate video um, reacting to the music. So like, cause like the music in these games is really important. And so I'm gonna make my own separate video on that where we listen to some of my favorite tracks and we compare the old ones to the new ones. 
He's talking about the inn. Thank you, Toadsworth. I love how he's got his little hand behind his back. God, Toadsworth is such a fun character. This little butler toad. Huff, I say. Huff, I say. <laughs> he's going to take a little nap. He's going to take it easy. Wait a sec, this is wild. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Wait, you know who Princess Peach is, but you don't know who I am? I'm in, like, a lot more games than her. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, new music cue! I think this is a new music cue. Oh, yeah, when she talks, the animation's better, too. Her little, like, hat, her headlamp hat wiggles. Goombella joined your party! Ooh, is Toadette in this? No, Toadette... I think Toadette comes around when you get a new uh, paper ability, when you get cursed. When you approach people or objects, you may see an icon appear over Goombella's head. If that happens, you can press X to learn more about that person around. Oh, that's new. I think that's new. No, that's not new. What am I saying? They're kind of handling it new. They didn't show you that before, I don't think. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there was an icon before telling you about it. Badunk. This is Rogueport Square. It's the center of town in the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. <laughs> yeah, the, oh man. Uh, yeah, I got it. Um, I just love that the characters don't have those stupid white outlines around them. I love that the characters don't animate at like two frames a second, where like the animation is super basic and crappy looking. Uh, that'd be my cue to share any info I know. Which, well, I thought it was X. Wasn't it X? Yeah, X is where she tells me stuff. Why? What is ZL? All right, stop. Stop talking. ZL. Oh, she. Oh, she tells you what you should be doing if you get lost. Okay. I mean, the game runs pretty well. Granted, this is just like Rogue Port or whatever, but it's not like so like... L look at that little thing. Did you see that about... Ma Watch Mario's arms when I do that. Yeah, they have like a little wiggle there. That's nice. What's up, dude? <laughs> Professor Frankly. Actually, I think a guy by that name lives over on the east side. Oh, look at him. He's oh, look at his little animation. He folds his arms. Oh, look at that. I get, wow! <laughs> I'm blown away by basic animation posing. Whoa! I just got robbed! I kind of like the shininess on the ground. There is real cardstock paper that is shiny like that, by the way. Because I've seen some people be like, well, paper's not shiny. And it just goes to show what they do not know about paper. Because trust me, they're shiny paper. Um... The shadows are also real. Look at the shadows on Mario and Goombella and all the characters. That's like a re it's not just like a little circle. By the way, there's a secret back here. Oh, look at that. I'm pulling another card trick today and making tons of loot. But somebody started tailing me, so I came here to hide out for a while. Don't tell anyone you saw me here or I'll bonk you. How about I bonk you? How you like that? Huh? You gonna bonk me? I'm gonna bonk you. Yeah, take that. Take that. <laughs> Oh, is all we love this. We all right. I, I gotta. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta stop this. Oh wait a minute. I like that. Hold on. Go back. Go back here. I like that little shot you get back there to the top right, where you can see stuff. I don't know if that's in the original game. I don't remember. All right. This is clearly Professor Frankly. Um, part of me was like, do I just do the first impressions from like the first chapter? But no, that wouldn't be first impressions. Oh wow, you can really see what he's got in his book there, and that was. Pretty clean texture. Man, I, I love this dude. He's like a, a Doc Brown from Back to the Future. Hello. You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year. Hey, I can read. It's kind of interesting. Sometimes the characters have that white, like, it's not a white outline. That looks good. That I'm I'm okay with that white highlight around the characters. Just like a little basic, subtle white outline to look like paper. 
I am not okay with the giant thick white outline around the whole character. That just looks miserable. But it's interesting how it seems to be different based on the lighting. Oh, look at his eyebrows. Oh, look at that face he's making. Wow. That's a good one. He doesn't, I just, I'm just now realizing he has square teeth instead of the sharp, like, Goomba teeth. Why is that something I've never stopped to notice before? Maybe it's because it's so clean. This is very clean looking, by the way. He's just talking about treasure and how he's old and uh, he's going to assist us with going down into the sewers. I do like, I do like the music, I think. I can't hear the music very loudly because I don't want it to pick up on mic and I don't have headphones on. Crystal stars. Boy, this, boy, there's a lot of talking in this game. Mamma mia. The stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. The stones of yesterday? Is that referencing to the same crystal stars you mentioned? It must be. And we're in luck. It seems a thousand of your doors located somewhere beneath this very town. I know all of this. Hey, video game, I know all of this. Oh. Oh! Wait a minute, he might have better eyebrows than me. You guys know how, how much I brag about my eyebrows, but Professor Frankly's got some pretty great eyebrows. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot more books in the background. A lot more books and maps and things. Yeah, that is a lot of stuff in that background there. Granted, it's all boxes, you know, so it's not like it's high polygon or anything, but it does look really good. We must go this instant. Yes, please, for the love of goodness. I love you, but let's go. I love all those details in the background. Look at that. Look at all those great details. Let's check. Sometimes there is stuff in the garbage pails that you can get. So always keep an eye. Oh, I like this little effect too. Watch this. Pink. Pew. <laughs> Come on, both of you. Let's get moving. This guy's being awfully... Uh, he's in a rush now, but... He, he sure likes to talk. No, you don't need to tell me the basics of battling. Yes, there's going to be hoodlums in the sewer. I know how to battle, sir. Wait, would you would you two like to practice your act? No. Yes, I am a master. Uh, wait. Maybe you ought to practice them once just to be safe. No! Please stop talking. I want to go over there and see if I can squash that cockroach. Okay, leave me alone. Oh, you can! Yeah! Woohoo! Oh, well, this is the game of the year. Oh, it's like Animal Crossing. Whoop. Let's go! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No. Oh, new little sound effect. I mean, there was a sound effect before, but. I think that. Oh, we got a little title on the bottom right of where we are. This dude has got a lot of wanted posters, that cowboy Koopa. Mm -hmm. All right. Ah, uh, there's so much for me to take in. The music updates, the visuals, the sounds of the characters, the new script. I don't know how I feel about a new script yet. Like, they're saying something here that's different. All right, let's... Let's give these Goombas a taste of their own medicine. Their thuggery. I like how the, the winged Goomba has a higher voice, which makes sense because he flies and it would have like a higher pitch. All right, we can't flee the fight. That's okay, because these guys are going to be a dead. They are already dead beats. Now let's just make them dead. See that spike on his head? That means you can't jump on him. See that guy? That means you can't use your hammer. Okay, bing, 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 let's go. Let me at him! Let me at him! I don't need to know all this. I know all this. I like how they just patiently wait for them to tell me all this stuff. Like, wouldn't they be, like, hitting me already? Okay. Please. Alright. First thing... Oh, wait. I, I can't move... Yeah, that's right. I can't, like... 
use the hammer down right. All right, let's do... Let's take this guy out. Oh, two style moves in one. Okay, I'm gonna use this. Oh, I didn't get any style moves off her. I don't know if she can do that. Oh! He's going after my gal here. Ha <laughs> ha! Eventually in the game, you can do more style moves. Like, you can do a bunch of backflips later on. Oh, we're at 19 star points, baby! Owie! Oh, the coins just automatically collect to me. I don't have to pick them up. <laughs> are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from, and they'll all have it in for us. Okay, thank you for that. Please never tell me about the battle again. I'm a seasoned veteran. Can't use that yet. Doodle 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 doodle. Ooh. Seems like the uh, characters are following me a little better. In the GameCube game, they uh, they do sort of fall behind a bit at times. <laughs> oh, look at this son of a gun. Whack! Oh, now see, he's got a fire flower. Correction. He had a fire flower. And now he's dead. And now I get that fire flower. Thank you. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. Wait, didn't I get that? Oh, I didn't mean to do this. Uh, I thought you got the... I thought you got the, the items when you killed the enemy. Maybe because it's still early in the game, I don't get them yet. Look at me just plowing through these guys. Dink, 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 bonk. Oh, wait a minute. That was embarrassing. I messed that up. I got no items. Well, I can't head bonk him, so I might as well tattle on him. Ooh, got him. All right, that's Spiky Goomba. Got it. <laughs> like I said, what a creative name. <laughs> All right, I messed up my timing on that hammer, so let's do it again. I feel like the timing is a little different. I don't think it has to do with the frame rate. I think some of that timing is maybe a little faster. The beep, beep, beep. That seems faster than what I remember on the GameCube. Which was probably smart to make that a bit faster. Oh, I guess maybe I do have to collect the coins. I don't know. Maybe in cutscenes you don't have to, and then... Uh... Ooh, my first item. Yes, please, by all means, tell me how items work. Hey, you schmuck. Schmuck. Yeah, I feel like maybe that hammer is a little faster. I could be wrong, but that feels faster to me. The battles are really quick, too. Maybe it's just because I'm used to modern Paper Mario's having these, like, elaborate, stupid battles where it's like, Wow, you ran into a Goomba! How about playing a five-minute game where you try to line up 50 enemies? And it's like, how about we don't do that? Oh, that's nice. How about you just let me battle the enemies in a really quick, snappy battle? Is that too much to ask for these days? No, but this game is fantastic. Oh, it's a puny! Oh, look at that little puny. Hmm, I wonder what that was. It was a puny. Oh, look at these guys. I forget what their name is. Bronk. Ah, oh, good sound. I like the sound effects. That's something that is uh, charming me quite a bit. So we need to get that key over there. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab that. Dink. And now we're going to go free a mysterious being in a spooky treasure chest. I do love being able to see the backsides of the characters. Remember when I said they kept up with you a little better? I don't know. Maybe I take that back. They, they do fall behind. It doesn't matter. It's not like Pikmin or something. Oh. Hey, you. Uh, can you hear me? You can? Uh, that must mean you're the, the, the hero of legend. Yeah, that's me. Only the greatest hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, nothing. Oh, that's, that's crazy. You see, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this chest. It was a real drag. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. 
So, yeah, anyways, uh, big guy, what brings a hero like you to this place? Alright. <laughs> Mario, I don't trust this chest. It does look like the kind of chest that you shouldn't trust. I just said it out loud, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. So first, you should look for the key to this chest, then use it to let me out, definitely. We already got it. <laughs> I don't think this music is in the original game either. In the original game, there are quite a few moments where the music just stops, and I think this is one of them. I've already got, I've already got the key. Whoa, what? You already, oh cool, they just acknowledge it. Here you go. Open sesame, open salami. <laughs> Fools. Oh, what tomfoolery is this? Oh, nice effect, I love that. I love that, this is such a good bit. Oh boy, did you fall for it. I burned you, ha ha ha. What, you think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Bugly, wuggly, woo, -hoo, you're cursed. Whoa! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Wee -hee -hee. Oh, look at his face! He changed his face to like a laughing face. That's not in the original. You want to hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. Wee -hee -hee. Trembling yet, suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. Wee -hee -hee. <laughs> ah, this is good. This is really, this is a good bit where he's like pretending like this is so horrible. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. That's interesting. Okay, you're on the panel now. Try pressing Y. <laughs> You'll control your tiny paper plane self by tilting left, forward, and back. <laughs> Thank you for telling me this. Oh, it wants me to actually do this. It wants me to mimic. Okay. Uh, press B to deplane and get back to normal. <laughs> deplane. So be honest. Do you fully understand the peril this curse has bestowed upon you? Yes, I get it. <laughs> those get more, uh... Those answers get more sarcastic as you play through the game. I remember one of them is like... Yeah, yeah, that's really terrible. <laughs> Bink. So, uh, wow, just wow. What was that guy's beef? Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and use our abilities so that we can go to the thousand year door. It's very dark in here. The the sewer here is, is definitely darker than before. Late to go. Ooh, that's fast. You really dive down on that. Here we go. <laughs> ah. Ooh, Mario Goombello, look at that! I'm assuming that's the thousand year door. <laughs> I like how nobody was able to come into this room before. <laughs> It wasn't like protected by some kind of like boulders or something that were blocking a passage. It was just you needed to be able to turn into a paper airplane. And I guess no one could ever do that. Okay. I'm kind of wondering how much more I play. I want to do like an hour, but I know I won't do all of uh, Petal Meadows. Maybe we'll do like half. We'll kind of get into the... Uh, Petal Meadows, Chapter 1 stuff. I'm playing a good Paper Mario game, and it's new, kind of. Oh man, you know, it's so exciting to think about how this is new for some people. Like, all this is new for you, maybe. 
and I really hope you're loving it. Oh, there's our map. Let's chart it. <laughs> it's a cute little effect. There's where the first crystal star is. Ooh. Oh. I like that little jingle. That was momentous. Now we'll go back to Professor Frankly's lab. Oh, yeah. Okie dokie. <laughs> I like this establishing shot. This is good direction. It's just kind of fun to have like a little shot outside of the, you know, his building. Oh, there's like some kazoo going on. There's like a kazoo kid moment in this soundtrack that I didn't hear earlier. This map is truly astounding. Um, so yeah, I think I think pretty shortly we go into chapter one. The area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay. I know how we get there. We can get there because we can now turn into a plane. So when we go into the sewers, we can use that little plane thing. Little plane pad. Oh, that was new! Mario's hands doing that thing? How autistic am I that I'm no- Oh, that's new too! A front shot of Princess Peach like that? That was not in there before. Man, how autistic of me to notice all these very subtle things. I'm sure a lot of people are noticing it who played the original. So it is her. Wait a minute. This music. I'm liking the soundtrack a little more now that I'm playing it. When I was just listening to some of the music on YouTube, I was sort of like, I don't know how I feel about this soundtrack. But I guess when you're playing the game and you're absorbed in the atmosphere, it's kind of easier to enjoy the music. Because you're having the visuals and everything to go along with it and it just kind of helps it out. All right, thank you for the map back. I'm gonna need that. I wonder where I get the GameCube badge. Well, Mario, we're off. Give it your best. Now then, allow me to give you both a proper farewell. What? Why did I forget about this moment? What is this proper farewell he does? I don't remember this. Oh, no, I already know what you're talking about. This is very important. You'd better listen. I mean, you are you ready? No, thanks. Hmm. You're absolutely sure. Well, all right. Just remember in battle, the bigger your audience, the better. Yeah, I know all about that stuff. Oh, he gives us a little a little badge? Or wait, that's not a badge. Yeah, that's a badge. You got a Power Smash badge. Well, we probably should turn that on. dun 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 no thanks. <laughs> this is like uh, the Mario and Luigi games have way too many tutorials. This game, you know, people complain about Zelda Twilight Princess being too slow to start. As much as I love this game, and I do, obviously, uh, this game's pretty effing slow to get started. I remember playing the GameCube game my first time. I was kind of like, oh god, I keep hitting X. Why do I keep hitting X? Is that the way you used to bring up the menu? Because then she doesn't shut the heck up. There should be a way to just shut her up instantly if you like accidentally hit that. Okay, how do I get into the gear badges? Okay. Equip that sucker. There we go. Got my mushroom fire. There's my party. There's Mario. Okay. That's everything we needed to see. Um, before we go down the pipe, let's go into like one of the little item shops. You know what I mean? see. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go in here. 
Oh! The music changes in the shop! <laughs> That's cute! Hi. Oh, look at his little animation! That's a pretty deep voice for a toad! <laughs> look at him. Um, I remember thinking that their mustache was like their mouth. But now it definitely looks way more clearly like a mustache. Oh, that's cool. The music changing. I like that. That's good. Welcome to the Toad Bros Bazaar. I'm good. Okay, let's get... Let's get some of that. Let's get a honey syrup. Badoo! Okie dokie! Ooh, let's read this. A glowing, mysterious light under the city smells like treasure, people! Oh, that does smell like treasure. This is really cute. Love that. <laughs> of course, we can mess with her, but it's going to be more text. Freeze! You two, not another step! Don't come this way. We're going to break her contact. Oh, listen to her voice! Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to move an inch. Yes, I am. Uh-oh. We smashed her contact lens. Now she's definitely not going to let us go into the west side. Until we get her a new one. <laughs> Fine, if that's your pro if that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. Oh. <laughs> Why am I getting so much joy out of beating the character? Oh! They got little animations for when I pummel them. Wow, this oh, this is the game of the year. <laughs> okay, let's save and let's go to the Petal Meadows. Ooh, it does make a little splash. Okay. Oh, the little uh, trash blowing in the wind looked kind of nice there. The animation. He blocks this area. I can't get past here. I, I don't remember exactly why. What? What's why? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. You're an outsider. Past this point is the turf of Ishnail, head of the Robos. The Robos. It's ten coins to pass through. I'm leaving. We, we don't need to go in there. You just have to pay ten coins for that? I, for some reason, I thought it was more than that. I don't need to talk. I don't need to talk to you. This guy is new. He is a little, like, uh, kung fu toad that teaches you how to uh, fight. We do not need that. Do I look like I need to know how to fight? But it's good that he's there, I guess, for newcomers. I don't really know how many newcomers are going to really need that. Okay, now that we can have our extremely impressive ability to turn into a uh, paper airplane... Whoop, Ooh, that was a little... Yeah, man, that thing, that thing sinks. That is a definite uh, heavier airplane than... Oh, I wonder what this does. What does she have to say about it? Hmm, it seems to be almost inviting us to do something, doesn't it? But what? Probably... Clonk it. I love bloopers. Bloopers are probably like my third or fourth favorite Mario enemy. My first one is Wiggler. Look at this beast! Let's take this beast down! Oh, Luigi! Oh, hey, don't worry, bro. Uh, I'm going to be—I'm going to be in the audience cheering you on, bro. Ho oh, ho! Go Mario! Ho oh, oh. ho! Oh, look at this! This guy smells like a squid. Bloop, bloop! Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustached guy. Bloopity bloop blue. He's in a world of hurt. Ooh. Blue, 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 blue. I'll give him a taste of the old tentacle trample. 
Wow. Hey Mario, you remember what Professor Frankly told us, right? You can press Y to change your our attack order. I actually do want her to scan him. Because I remember in the old game, if you don't scan a character, I don't know how you get him. Well, not scan him, tattle on him. Go ahead and tattle on this oaf, please. Nailed it. Oh, Luigi, did you see Luigi just gave me a, a fist pump? What? Ooh, it's a blooper and a really super humongous one, too. Ew, it's all slimy. He only has 12 for health. I just totally can't stand slimy, nasty, icky things. <laughs> gross. G-R-O-S-S, -S, gross. Max HP is 12, attack is 1, and defense is 0. It attacks with tentacles and ink. Once you damage both, yeah, we, okay. I, I just wanted to tattle. You know, it's really crazy. You can actually see the page of that book pretty legibly. Almost like HD is a thing. Look at Luigi. Luigi loves it. Let's use the fire flower on him. See what our items look like? Oh, look at that. That's cute. Looks more papery. Oh, poor blooper. Hey, oh wait, she gets to go too? Okay. I didn't do a good... Oh, look at Luigi is loving this. Hey, bro, watch the... Oh, we got a toad too. Hey, bro, watch this. He... Waha! Yeah! Oh, oh, that was a good one, bro. Yippee! Ho, ho! Why doesn't Luigi get up here and help? All right, we're going to also use a little head bonk on him here. I don't think this guy's going to cause a single bit of damage to me. Here, watch this, bro. No, he is going to cause damage to me. Now is the damage. Oh, what is it? The first bingo. Do we get it? Do we get it? Do we get it? Oh, we got a poison mushroom. That's terrible. Oh. All right, let's have Mario lead the way. I never really liked it. Should we do it with the hammer? Let's do it with the hammer. I don't like to have... What the... F what was that? Slow motion? What? Oh, yeah. Yippee. Way to go, bro. That was pretty good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what was that slow motion? That was not... That was good. Sorry, blooper. I like you. Don't worry, buddy. You're, you're a cool guy. We just had to beat you so we could continue on with the game. This platform is new, by the way. I mentioned this in the uh, fact video, but this was not grassy before, and they made it grassy now. I love the way it looks. But they made it grassy so that it looks like Petal Meadows. We are at about... Oh, I like the... I love the grandeur of this uh, remix. Castle and Dragon. I like that. That's better. This music that played, that, that's better than the original. I don't know how many tracks I would say are better than the original. Shit, look at this. For God's sakes. Holy crap. I need to be, sm I need to be getting more screenshots of this because my God, do I love this. Ah, this is, I know it's such a basic answer. Like, you know, sometimes people will say, what is your favorite chapter in the Thousand Year Door? I, I kind of don't like saying what my favorite is because it's this one. And the reason I don't like that is because it's like, oh, your favorite chapter is like the first one? But yes, it is. And look at this. Oh, we just found a mushroom. Mushrooms grow on trees? Oh, a dink, 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 dink. That was nice. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that, but Mario's face there, that's a new its a new frame of animation. Look at Hooktail. I always thought Hooktail was a boy. Everybody's like, dude, Hooktail's a girl. So that's new information for me. I don't know why I went 20 years without realizing Hooktail is a girl character. Oh, this looks so good. Wow! I'm playing the freaking remake of The Thousand Year Door. <laughs> oh, it looks so nice! Wow! This is this is what Paper Mario should look like. No annoying white outlines, much smoother animation. The animation on the characters looks great. Everything looks good, and the, I love the, the atmosphere and the themes. And Oh, look at that. It's kind of cool when you walk over that, it bends. 
Oh, let's kill something to celebrate. <laughs> I like how the Goombas in the audience like me trouncing Goombas. Here we go. Wee-hee-hee! Oh, yeah! <laughs> A badge? Ooh, we got the close call badge. Let me put that on. Da -da -da. That's a good one. If it's ever a close call in battle... Yeah, these don't do anything. <laughs> I love these little mountains that just are apparently alive and they watch you. Da -da -da. Ah, kicked him right in his head. <laughs> this battle, the battle in this game is nice, man. I know that it's like, you know, I knew that, but just going back to it, look how quick this is. Bam, bam, bra -ta -ta -ta. you're right back in the game and you had some fun, let's do it, baby. Compare this to like, Color Splash and the Origami King's battle, it's just like, holy smokes. I, I, I'm sorry, I don't want to be annoying, but I, I, it's just like I'm having these moments of, oh, I can't get this yet. I'm having these moments of like, oh my God, I'm playing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door in HD. Beautifully remade. Clonk. Let's get him. Um, I'm gonna have her tattle. I don't know if this game is the same way, but I'm pretty sure that if you don't tattle on all the characters manually, you don't get them in, like, your book. Oh, that was, like, perfect. That was, like, dead center. That's a Goomba. Um, yeah, I'm one of those, in case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> Ahem, it says, Goombas are not underlings, or... Goombas are underlings of underlings. No standout features to note. That's totally rude! Maximum HP... Da -da. Oh, I kind of get the underling thing now. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty pathetic in battle here. Alright, let's get them. Oh, we, we had a crowd full of shy guys there. They were loving that. We're almost close to uh, leveling up. 75 star points. Well, I probably should get this at least, right? Uh, as of today, I did see some news that people were saying there's code in this game that's like f referencing 4K. I don't know what that means, but is it possible that when the Switch 2 comes out, you'll be able to play this game in 4K on Switch 2 with 60 frames a second? Oh my god, I don't know, probably not, but that'd be amazing. One more thing, Mario, if you ever find yourself wondering what to do, just press the... Yeah, you already told me about that, dear. What do you have to say, though, when I press that? Sometimes everything looks ordinary, then you hit something... Okay, yeah, this is just... There's a switch in this area. Brink! Ooh. We'll deal with you later, Goomba. I, I remember in the GameCube game, this was so crazy to me. I think there's something back here, isn't there? No, that's somewhere else. But I, it, when this was in the game, oh, I love those little trees too. All the little pine trees on the backs. Oh, that's cool. The, the mountain I'm standing on now looks more like the original mountains with like the little light green dots for the trees. So they kind of kept that too. That's cute. I like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. See, paper stuff like that is fun. This is what I was referencing. You, you keep going this way and you get the you get the little star piece. Um, You know, it's like, I don't want to hear about how everything is paper in the writing, in the dialogue for the game, you know? I don't want that to be a thing. But, like, just stuff like that where you need to hit a switch and then it turns the pages and it makes the bridge. Like, that stuff is very, very charming. That is wonderful. Got him right in his non-existent mustache. It's just so satisfying to battle in this game. And just look at this. Look at the setting. Head bonk him. 
can't do I, I can't do stylish moves with the uh, partners yet. I think that might be like a badger, and when you oh, it's probably when you upgrade the partners. They, uh, it's been a little while since I played Thousand Year Door. It's been probably about three years since I yes, I got a dried shroom. It's been about three years since I've played. But uh, gosh, I love it. <laughs> Trying to get a good spin. Get a fire flower. So yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little like uh, rusty. My mind is a little rusty on a few things. Ooh, here we are in Petalburg. I think this is where we'll end it. We'll we'll do a little exploring here. Hey. Where are you, you ask? Why this is Petalburg? Sorry, but it's been a long time since we've had visitors here. Yeppity, once that dragon hooktail was spotted flying around this area, well, it didn't help tourism, put it that way. People just stopped visiting. Dragon hooktail? That must have been that huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. So it's called hooktail, huh? Oh, scary name. <laughs> by the way, by the way, green boots, have you ever heard of these things called crystal stars? <clears throat> Hmm, nope, can't say that I have. Sorry about that. Gotta ask the mayor. He's real old. <laughs> As such, he knows all kinds of stuff. Koopas of his age are, um, really smart. Anyways, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. Okay. Pink house? Sounds totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. I don't think that sounds hideous. That sounds nice. Look at this! Oh my gosh! It looks so nice. I just gotta take. I just gotta take a moment and just take it all in. Let's talk to this dude. Ooh, it's Bubbleber. <laughs> oh. Hey, come on. Why won't that pop up? That's supposed to. That's supposed to. What's going on here? Why won't it give me the star piece? Do I have to hit it from like a side? I don't know why that's doing that. Okay, well, I, I guess we'll come back to that. I, it, do I have to use the ground pound move now that I don't have yet? You can't use your hammer anymore? Okay, well, I, I won't keep doing that. <laughs> Tell me about how you've been playing Fire Emblem on your Game Boy Advance, little boy. <laughs> Ever heard of it? Man, it rocks my socks. Tell me about him. This kid sure is a fanatic. All he talks about is video games, you notice that? I wonder if he's finished his homework for today. You know, homework's important too. No, it's not. I gotta say, I've been playing a lot of Game Boy Advance games lately. There's this one that absolutely... Oh, he just keeps talking about Fire Emblem. It would've been cool if they added more games for him to reference. I'm gonna save. I think I like this remix quite a bit. Do we want any of these? I think we do. We haven't really been using any of the items, but... Uh, let's get a pow block. We got enough coins. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> All right, what was his deal again? I am General White, I am a bob -omb, and I have lost my hopes and dreams. Well, good luck finding them. We gotta go. I live a solid... I live in solitude, always. I must apologize, but I ask that you leave me alone. No. What do you have to say about him? That's General White, the bob -omb. I guess white bob are pretty rare. He has a cool mustache, too. He might even give your lip fuzz a run for its money. He does have a good mustache. He's got a Waluigi mustache. I think this is where Princess Peach's pictures are. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, he's got a fig. He's got an amiibo. He's got the Princess Peach amiibo. Oh, look at that. He gets scared when I use the hammer in his house. What if I use the hammer on you, buddy? Huh? Look at this. He's worried I'm gonna ruin his Princess Peach stuff. Hey, keep your hands to yourself in here. Basically, everything in this, everything in this room is a one-of-a-kind collectible. <laughs> <laughs> the 
This guy's apparently a total diehard Peach fan. He even collects Peach merchandise. He has posters and merch displayed everywhere. Boy, get a life, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey Mario, don't tell me you have a secret collection of plush Peach dolls too. No, 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 no. Of course not. <laughs> They've definitely added more Peach merchandise, because that mug and that figure, I do not think were in the original game. Well, that's wonderful. That one little house with the Koopa Troopa in there had more charm than most of the modern Paper Mario games. Um, we don't need to go to the inn. We went to the... Okay, we're just going to go talk to the old guy, and then we'll end it. Oh, we got to talk to this dude. Hey. Ah, oh, bonjour, mademoiselle. Isn't it a beautiful day? No, 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 no. Not you, monsieur. De la moustache. I'm speaking to... Look at his little pose there. Look at his pose. I am speaking to the lovely little cabbage behind you, mon petit chow. Do you hear me, beautiful? Abandon these duller, then come away with me. Ew, are you kidding me? Ew, nice wig, you disco wannabe. Take a hike, Bozo the Chump. Do kids know Bozo the Clown? Will they get that reference? I don't think kids know who Bozo the Clown is. Oh, oh, oh. je suis blessé. I am wounded. Such brutal honesty, such a sharp tongue. I shall retreat for now. If you change your mind, come find me. What a total sleaze. Let's go somewhere else, Mario. No, I like this guy. This guy's cool. What does she have to say about him? Ew! <laughs> What's with this guy, huh? It grosses me out just being near this weirdo. All right, fine, whatever. His name is Dupree. He's this icky guy who tries to sweet talk everybody. There, no more. <laughs> Whoa, I almost fell off the edge there. Bum, bum. Ooh, I like the, I know this is totally random. Well, let's go up there. This is super random, but I love those plants over there. I, I love the way those are designed. Those look great. Ooh, we, we could get back there if we had a special ability. Okay, uh, before we go into the mayor's house, because I said we are going to end this once we're talking to the mayor, just take a little quick look around this section of Petalburg. Oh, we got these gals, the pop stars. I'm so confused. I don't think this was... Yeah, that wasn't in the original game, that angle. And that angle wasn't in the original game either, where you hit forward. I don't think it was. I'm gonna talk to this guy. This village is very nice. Clear water, clear air, absolutely do- Whoa! Wait a minute! I didn't even look down at him! Did you see that pose? But this foul hooktail, she's made everyone forget their fortunes. How's that? Wait, can you say that again? I wanna- Yeah, look at that! Look at that! Wow! That's great! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I want a plushie of one of the bulb bulbs. Let's talk to this old toot. Look at him. His his eyebrows are his hair. Oh, wow, you can really see those photos in the back. Someone there? Who is it? Who? What do you want from me? I know. You're thieves. Here to rob a adventurous old Koopa. Despicable. No, I'm not gonna rob you. Oh! We got new music for him! Listen to how old his voice sounds. Oh, look at that! He's got a really crinkly, craggly mouth. What? Not thieves, you say? Well, what's your story then? Oh, wait, you folks looking for crystal stars. How does he know that? The crystal stars you say you're hunting? Um, wait, what did I hear about those dang things again? Aha, got it, Hooktail. Hooktail's got what you're looking for. She's this an how did, again, they mention she a lot. How did I never, how did I not think that she's a she? Uh, you know Hooktail, right? Of course. Listen to this music, this is cute. Man, there's like new tracks of music. Like, seemingly a lot of them. Well, this Hooktail's brutal flyby snackings have all of us on pins and needles. Fly... Mm, flyby snackings. <sighs> yep, I'll go ahead and get her. 
Ooh, sounds promising. Why, if you can get rid of Hooktail, we'll shower you with gratitude and rewards. Wait, what's that I hear? You'll accept no reward? I didn't say that. What an unselfish man. You're noble indeed. Yep, a good egg. Now, what did you say your name was again? Murphy, huh? <laughs> That's a fine name. It's Mario. I appreciate that, Murphy. They are nice eyebrows. Hey, wait a minute! Is this guy me when I get older? This guy might be me from the future. I eventually turn into a Koopa Troopa, and this is what I do with my life. I live in Petal Meadows. So we need the Sunstone and the Moonstone, and then we go back to the beginning of the stage. We put those in those weird-looking rocks when we saw Hooktail at the beginning, and they allow us to go to Hooktail's castle. But for now, that's where we're going to end this first impressions video for Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Uh, let me wrap up really quick. Of course, I'll do a review of this. Hello, Koops. I will be... Oh, look at those pictures. That's neat. There's Koops' dad right there. Handsome looking gentleman. Great eyebrows. A lot of people have great eyebrows in this town. I do belong here. What did you say? You mean you're actually going to Hooktail Castle? I can't believe you dare challenge that behemoth. She eats people. Often. Um, it's really none of my business, but it's one scary dragon, and that's no lie. All right, whatever. Thank you guys for joining me on this. Uh, this is Coop's girlfriend. She's pretty hot, right? My name is Koopy Koo. I love her name. Oh my gosh, that hat, those overalls, and, and that magnificent mustache? You're Mario, aren't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've heard tales of how strong you are. She knows who I am, but uh, Goombella didn't. Ooh, she, see, she wants Koops to be brave. He's gonna be brave. Don't worry, Koops is really brave. I think he lets us go through, but we have to do something first. There's another one of those dang panels. Yeah, I, I guess you have to ground pound him now. I don't know. No biggie, I'll figure it out eventually, I'm sure. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. Uh, this is off to a very promising start. I don't think the frame rate is bad. Yes, I would have preferred that it be 60 frames a second, but when when I'm playing it now, I don't I don't have this feeling of like, wow, this is chugging along, or wow, this looks bad. It looks beautiful. Uh, sounds pretty good. Plays just as fun and great as ever. Lots of new animations. I'll be back with a lot more coverage on this game. Probably the next thing you'll see from me is a review of the soundtrack. I'm going to go to YouTube and listen to the music, and uh, we'll compare it. I'll talk to you guys later. Get this game. It's worth your money. Trust me. This is like, this is genuinely no joking contender for one of the games of the year. I, I mean, this is just such a great game. We're going to end it with me hitting one of these girls. <laughs> take that. Yeah, take that. That's not something Mario would do. All right, I got to go. Bye.